one of the lines is, we came to change the whole world with a song. And we really believed that. And we did, for, for a minute. <laughs> David Clayton Thomas is no stranger to writing political songs and trying to create change. The former frontman for Blood, Sweat and Tears performed at Woodstock 50 years ago, protesting the Vietnam War. I started with political involvement with my music, going back to, and you're too young for this, Brainwashed. I wrote a song in the 60s called Brainwashed, which was a very wicked, vicious attack on the Vietnam War. Five decades later, Clayton Thomas's music has struck a chord again. It's time someone said, enough is enough. This one, Never Again, addressed the gun violence problem in the States, which is an epidemic. It obviously struck a nerve, and so it should. What's going on right now in, in the government of the United States is just a horror show. It's, it's unbelievable. The Grammy Award winner teamed up with children who had been directly impacted by gun violence. We hooked up with the kids from Parkland in Florida, and they have an organization called March for Our Lives, and we got in touch with them, and we said we'd like to filch some stuff from your website. We're putting together a video. And we sent them a copy of the song, and they said, wow, you know, of course, help yourself. The recent mass shootings in Texas and Ohio are shining an even bigger light on the deadly gun violence happening south of the border. But gun violence isn't just an issue in the states. In Toronto, as of August 12th, the city already had 267 shootings, 15 more than the same time last year. And Clayton Thomas is just one of many musicians speaking out. The f shootings that have been going on and how nobody in charge is doing anything. I don't know what the answer is, but obviously something has to be Music probably has more power than any other individual medium to put ideas into people's heads and potentially get them to think, think critically, and maybe adopt different kinds of behavior. Rob says although music reaches the masses, they are often preaching to the converted. So can any individual song turn uh, gun violence around? Absolutely not. Uh, do artists writing songs that address issues of gun violence and mass shootings in our contemporary society, can they have any impact? Perhaps. Lindsay Dunn, City News, Toronto.